All right, Oval fans. Now, I can't take credit for this video because earlier today I did a video about what if Priscilla was the one shooting at the president and first lady at the end of the season two finale when they got out of their motorcade limo and were walking back into the White House. But Queen J. Jackson on Instagram pointed out in the comment section of my post about it saying, you know what, that's good, but I think it was uh, the boy that did it, Jason, and I'm like, damn, that makes a lot of sense. Now, don't get me wrong, the finale led us to believe that it was Bobby doing the shooting, you know, after Kyle um, knocked Blakely's vehicle off the road, there was the shootout, and then in the midst of it, Bobby grabbed a gun, and he told Max he's going to finish what they started, meaning that he was going to uh, go on foot to the White House to assassinate Hunter and I'm still wondering, like, you know, how far away were they from the White House for Bob to go and do that? Not to mention, we never saw the shooter. We heard the bullets, you know, being fired. We saw what looked to be Hunter's hand covered in blood. So somebody shot, but we just don't know who it was. Now, I said Priscilla, and you could check out my video breaking it down. But Jason makes a lot of sense given the fact that if we base, you know, what happened at the end of season one when his parents sent him away and what he did between raping and killing Gene and then, of course, you know, killing his grandmother and getting the plane to uh, stop so he can go back home, obviously, to cover up the murder of Gene. But he lashes out when he's upset and we know he wants his parents dead. Alan is no longer an ally. Well, he never was. And Victoria said he was going to send them. Well, Victoria said she was going to send Jason away. But sadly, we never got follow up on it. So it's possible because remember, Jason told Alan, I know where all the weapons are. So do you think that Jason may have broken into the weapons vault gotten a firearm or two and then it waited until his parents came back and started firing the gun now remember this guy is capable of slipping past secret service so it stands to reason somebody who knows the white house inside and out could be able to get at a um, vantage point so as soon as his parents came out of their vehicle he could you know open fire and then disappear as quickly as he you know got to the spot where he would start firing bullets so neither hunter or victoria are dead based on season three synopsis but i think that it might not be bobby who was the one firing the rounds just just putting it out there i mean it's possible it could have been someone else either bobby priscilla or in this case jason so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below i love this theory i wish i would have thought of it but um it just goes to show how dangerous this little psychopath is. But make sure you like and subscribe. So hit the thumbs up button, click subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one.